सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर फाइव स्पोर्ट्स ट्रेनिंग पेज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन वी यूज द टर्म ट्रेनिंग इन वेरियस कॉन्टेक्ट्स वी टॉक ऑफ ट्रेनिंग ऑफ टीचर्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स पुलिस एंड आर्मी पर्सनल medical and paramedical functionaries including working in non governmental organizations and volunteers engaged in various events in these contexts by training we mean an organized and systematic instructional process which aims at improving an individual's ability to play their assigned roles effectively and meaningfully however This kind of understanding of the term training cannot be applied to the concept of sports training. The term sports training is specifically used in the context of athletics, sports and games which could be a training of sports persons, coaches and teachers of physical education. It is also used by scientists and experts who belong to the field of sports science and medicine. sports biomechanics exercise physiology sports psychology and other fields like yoga and science movement but even in these contexts the concept of sports training is understood differently in this chapter therefore we shall learn the meaning of sports training its aims characteristics and principles and also about sports skills 5.2 sports training meaning sports training is a special process of preparation of sports persons based on scientific principles aimed at improving and maintaining higher performance capacity in different sports activities it is a particular type of training designed to improve fitness and abilities to perform in a given sport it includes strength in training corrective and restorative exercises conditioning and cardiovascular training it also includes mental and psychological training and advice on nutritional values 5.3 performance development through sports training sports training is especially focused on optimal performance in a particular sport its main aim is to develop the performance capacity of sports persons so that they can achieve the highest possible performance to do so it is essential to be mentally strong the ability to manage stress and anxiety associated with different sports need to be strengthened competition in sports makes the participants face varied situations which require the individuals to be mentally fit now on the bottom of the page on the left side you can see box 5.1 it says purpose of sports training is to achieve optimal level performance in a particular game and sport page number 47 5.4 objectives of sports training the main objectives of sports training are as follows number 1 improvement of physical fitness the performance in sports generally depends upon physical fitness of a sports person Every sport activity needs specific type of physical fitness and hence the improvement of various components of physical and skills related fitness like strength speed coordination endurance and flexibility is an important aim and objective of sports training number 2 acquisition of sport skills this includes motor skills as well as basic movement skills fundamental motor skills are prerequisites to the learning of sport specific skills every sports activity requires to observe certain specific movement procedure to tackle a particular task this movement procedure is known as technique and when this technique is learned and perfected it leads to skill development whenever sports persons include technical training they focus on acquisition of motor skills relevant to a particular sport fundamental motor skills such as hopping jumping skipping kicking 
throwing, catching and striking are prerequisites to the learning of sport-specific skills of basketball, football, gymnastics, tennis, cricket, badminton, etc. Number 3. Improvement of Tactical Efficiency Tactical training is designed to improve various strategies and is based upon analysis of the tactics of opponents. Specific training in sports helps the sports persons to make the best use of their abilities and techniques so that the chances of success in competition are increased. The training develops three kinds of tactics offensive, defensive, and high performance tactics. Tactical efficiency is enhanced by providing the sports persons with knowledge of rules and repeated opportunities to perfect tactical abilities in them. Number 4. Improvement of mental abilities are critical for high-level performance in any sport. The training aims at development of positive attitude towards sports and competition, dedication and devotion towards particular sport or event, sincerity and honesty, self-confidence and optimum level of aspiration. 5.5. Characteristics of Sports Training Some of the important characteristics of sports training are Number 1. Sports training is individual specific. The needs of every individual for performing in a particular sport are different from those of another. If we take the example of the sprint event, even a small difference in time and speed or distance decides the performance record victory or defeat. The difference depends on individual specific capabilities. It is therefore necessary to identify the individual potential during the training. By identifying their needs, training may be focused at improving the identified gaps in the abilities of that sports person. Now, on the right side of the page, we have an activity for you. Activity 5.1 Discuss with your classmates the offensive, defensive and high-performance tactics that are required to be adopted by any team game of your school which may be participating in some competition. Based on the discussion, prepare a list of three kinds of tactics, offensive, defensive and high-performance. Now, page number 48. Point number 2 of Characteristics of Sports Training to achieve high performance in a sports competition. The important feature of sports training is its focus on enabling the sports person to achieve the highest possible level of performance in any of the sports competitions. It is a process which is spread over a long period of time. Number 3. Sports training is a scientific process. It is highly influenced by the scientific methods. To achieve best result, the knowledge from various dimensions of sciences has to be incorporated during the process of training. Number 4. Coach has an important role. A coach helps in building confidence, boosts morale and acts as a friend and a mentor. A coach is like a philosopher and mentor on the sports field. Number 5. Optimum development of sports persons. To achieve optimum performance, sports training should be planned, systematic and scientific and to achieve same, different means and methods are used. These means and methods are constantly modified and used in different conditions. Sports training is a continuous process for optimum development and perfection of sports persons. Number 6. Sports training is an educational process. Sports training is basically an educational process and it develops all the aspects of personality. High performance is not possible without developing the personality because both aspects are interrelated and interdependent of sports training. Number 7. Sports training is a process of development of hidden talent. The training helps in observing and assessing the performance level of the player at any given moment. While doing so, the hidden talent in a sports person is identified. This talent is systematically nurtured through the required specific training inputs. Page number 
48 5.6 methods of sports training there are various methods of sports training that are mentioned below number 1 continuous training method number 2 interval training method number 3 circuit training method number 4 plyometric training method page number 49 Number 5. Reputation Training Method Number 6. Fartlek Training Method Number 7. Weight Training Method Number 8. Cross Training Method However, in this chapter, only two methods are described. Number 1. Interval Training It involves maximum intensity work with intervals. This intensity work is alternated with periods of rest or low activity so that the body adjusts to work and rest. This method involves more of cardiovascular activities of individual. Number 2. Cross training. Cross training refers to training in different ways to improve the overall performance. Cross training uses different methods collectively to improve fitness and increases effectiveness of the training process for every human. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yadav. Technical coordinator, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.